Hey, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to disable the annoying Cortana from popping up and running on your Windows 10 PC. Now there's two methods to do this, and it depends on the version of Windows 10 that you're using. Method one uses regedit and is designed for a Windows 10 Home Edition. And method two uses Group Policy Editor, and this is for Windows 10 Pro Edition and Windows 10 Enterprise Edition. So to check which version of Windows 10 that you're using, go to the Start button in the bottom left-hand corner, then up to Settings, and then inside Settings, you want to click on System, and on the left-hand side, we're going to scroll all the way down to About. Now under here, under Device Specifications, we're going to go down to Windows Specifications, and in here, you'll see what version of Windows 10 you're using. So based on this information, you can choose either Method 1 or Method 2. Okay, so let's begin with method number one for Windows 10 Home Edition. We're going to start by clicking on the Start button and then typing in RegEdit. If you get prompted, you can just say yes at the prompt. And inside the RegEdit window, we're going to be looking for H key local machine. And then when we find it, click on that and expand it. Then we're going to go down to Software, click and expand that as well. And now we're going to be looking for Policies. Inside Policies, we're going to find Microsoft. And below Microsoft in here, we're going to right click on Windows and go to new and then key. So we're creating a new key here, and this one's going to be called Windows Search. OK, so after you type that in, you can hit enter. We're going to go into the open area on the right, right click on it, and then select new and D word 32 bit. And we're going to call this one allow Cortana. So we'll just type it in here. Now there's no spaces. Allow Cortana is all one word and then hit enter. And now what we need to do is make sure that the value of this is set to zero. So we can do that by right clicking on it and go to modify and the value data is set to zero, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. And then we can click on OK and we can now close out of all these windows. Now, in order for this to take effect, what we're going to want to do is restart the computer. So close out of everything, go down to the start button, you know, power and then select restart and reboot your computer. And when you boot it back up, you'll notice that all the Cortana notifications have been disabled and it'll no longer be available. So that would be successful for this on Windows 10 Home Edition. Uh, next, what we're going to do is method number two, and that is for Windows 10 Professional and Windows 10 Enterprise. Before we begin our method number two, I want to let you know that all the steps that we have done here are listed in the description below. We'll also have a link to our blog, which will detail everything with screenshots. And if you find this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button. Method number two is for Windows 10 Professional and Windows 10 Enterprise. We'll begin by clicking on start. This time we're going to type in edit group policy. So when we have that typed in, we can select on it and let it open up. And inside here, on the left hand side, we're going to expand and look for administrative templates. Expand that. And inside here, we're going to be looking for Windows components. And we're going to expand that as well. And now we're going to scroll all the way down till we find search. So we'll click on search. So we want to look for allow Cortana. We're going to open that up and then we're going to look for disable. Click on disable, then hit apply and OK. And one more thing that we're going to do in here is look for allow Cortana above lock screen. So we want to disable this one as well. So we'll double click on that, click on disable and then apply and OK. And now both measures have been saved on Windows 10. We can close out of the group policy editor and then we can head back down to start and then the power button so we can restart to make sure that the changes come into effect. When you reboot your computer, you will notice that Cortana has been completely disabled and been removed from the Windows 10 operating system. So this is two methods on how you can disable Cortana permanently on Windows 10 Home Edition, Enterprise and Professional. 
If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a like. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.